Today, let's talk about one of Mexico's most successful clubs. That's Club Deportivo Toluca, also just known as Toluca. As you can see with this little badge right here, they're also nicknamed Diablos Rojos or the Red Devils. They are one of Mexico's older clubs, having been founded in 1917. They actually only became professional in the 1950s. This is their home kit, all red, from 2005-2006, a season in which they won the Apertura tournament. You can see the badge right down the middle, which is something that's kind of coming back with kits lately. There, a little better to see is that Diablos Rojos badge at the bottom there. On top of that, this is kind of a heavier fabric for a more modern kit. Around that time, a lot of the kits were this thicker fabric, which feels actually pretty good. The collar is still a little bit high and tight on it, but that's all right. To go along with their 10 league titles, which is actually third only to America and Chivas in Mexico, they've also won the Mexican Cup twice, as well as the Champions League in the region two times, making this one of the most successful clubs in the CONCACAF region. Two interesting things for you about Toluca are they've never been relegated once they got promoted to the top flight, and they're amongst three clubs that can be true for, with Cruz Azul and Pumas being the other two. The other thing that's kind of interesting to me is Toluca doesn't truly have another rival club. They're about 40 miles southwest of the capital, Mexico City, but they don't really have a rivalry specifically with any of the three big clubs there. If you're a Mexican soccer fan, you really don't like Club America unless you're a fan of Club America, but still Toluca doesn't have a specific rivalry with them or Pumas or Cruz Azul, the big three that are in Mexico City. Toluca started really becoming successful in Mexican football in the late 80s into the 90s and with the first decade of this century being their most successful as far as titles. To look into some former players, Let's talk about Alfredo Talavera, who spent most of his career with Toluca as a goalkeeper. He's currently up in the north of Mexico at FC Juarez. Second man to talk about would be their all-time leading goal scorer. That's Jose Cardoso, the Paraguayan, who's one of only three players to ever score more than 200 goals in the Mexican League, but not be from Mexico. And a third player to mention, just recently retired, would be Carlos Esquivel, who is a winger for the club, a long time and great servant for Toluca, and actually has just taken up a role as a manager within their academy system. Let's hop into their current squad, since it's going through a little bit of a revolution this year, seeing as they've come close to winning the league title recently, dropping it to Pachuca two tournaments ago. With that, the man that really kind of stands out, oddly, is their goalkeeper. He's a Brazilian, his name's Thiago Volpi. And the reason he stands out is he's a goal scorer, which is odd for a goalkeeper, obviously, but he's a great penalty kick taker. Came to the club from Sao Paulo in Brazil, which might have a little bit to do with why he's a great goal scoring goalkeeper, seeing as they're famed for having the best proponent of goal scoring as a goalkeeper, Rogério Oceni, whose number is retired at that club. He's actually a great goalkeeper as well. He's shown and scored two goals as well in the League's Cup that just recently ended up with Inter Miami winning the title. With the season really kicking into action now, the League's Cup is over. The really important man for Toluca this season in that revolution of players that I mentioned earlier is gonna be Marcel Ruiz. He's a central midfielder and attacking player. And really a lot of the creative attacking spark and creation of goals is gonna go through him. He's 22 years old. He's just getting a chance with the Mexican national team as they reinvent themselves after the World Cup. And he picked up and played very well in the League's Cup, in my opinion. If he can pass that along into the Mexican League this year, the feeling of losing Leonardo Fernandez on a loan to Fluminense is not going to be hit as hard, seeing as he had 10 assists in the last tournament. That's a big gap to fill with such a young player. But nothing saying that this man can't do the job. Completing the key parts of that revolution with them aging down this squad, seeing as both of their key strikers from last season, Camilo, as well as Carlos Gonzalez, leaving the club, both being in their 30s, have been replaced by Pedro Raul as well as Robert Gonzalez, both much younger in their mid-20s. Raul is the key man, seeing as a center forward coming from Vasco da Gama at Brazil, is the man that's going to be picking up that slack from Camilo, taking a lot of the opportunities created by Marcelo Ruiz behind him in midfield, and hopefully converting them into goals. That's something this club desperately needs to really continue that opportunity they had in winning a league, dropping it to Pachuca a couple seasons back, and continuing it and resolidifying finding themselves maybe winning a title for the first time in what's coming on 13 years. So that's your rundown on Toluca, one of Mexico's finest traditional clubs.